All right, you moderate maniacs. How'd you do this month? How'd you do? Not bad, not bad. I'm doing pretty well, guys. I'm doing pretty well. Leave me some comments. How are you doing as far as your finances go, your portfolios, 401ks, IRAs, whatever you got? Give me some comments, guys. Tell me how you're doing. I'm not doing bad at all, okay? Um, this year so far has been very good, very positive. Who knows what's coming up? I mean, again, we're in an election year, okay? So usually election years, I think we've had four recessions in the last 17, 18 election years. So I'm positive. I'm positive for this whole thing. And what? Oh, we've had a discussion lately, guys. She thinks that you don't like her. Give me some comments. I know you do. Let me bump her up. She hasn't been doing too well lately. I've got to get her boost or self-confidence. You think why, right? You think why? It happens. Sometimes you got to do it. So anyway, here we go, guys. Here are my portfolio numbers. For those of you who have been following along generously, slavingly to my numbers, here's where I was when I retired in August of 21. That's where I was in my 401k. That's where I was in my IRA, which used to be a 401k. That's where I was in my cash. Okay, for a total, a grand total of $548,000. Woo, high roller, baby. Here's where I was last month. 309,000 in my 401k. 139 in what is now an IRA. 42 in cash, 490 total. And this is what I was compared to when I retired. I was down 4% in this 401k, down 7% in that IRA, okay? So if you look at it, not too bad from when I retired, right? I'm almost back to where I was. So just to give you a reference on what was my worst month since I retired, when I was about to, I was looking for the noose, guys. I was looking for the noose. It was pretty bad. Let me give you those figures. Uh, first of all, though, if this is your first time seeing me, and if you like people who talk out of the camera a lot, my name is Dwayne, and I give these updates every month. And this is a channel for those of you on moderate retirement. We got a great community here. If you think uh, you might like, you know, learning about stuff like that, think about subscribing and like the video as well. And if you really like it down here, you can buy me a coffee. Oh, so to give you guys a reference of how bad this was, how bad this was, let's say early to mid last year, this is the worst I was since when I retired. And this would have been January of 23. Wait till you see these numbers. Honey, are you with me? Are you with me? I tell you, I'm telling you, they like you. Just give them a chance. I'll read their comments. So it was looking pretty dire there for a while, All right, guys? This is where I was. My worst month since I retired, January of 23. Look at those numbers, okay? I was down to 269,000 in this 401k. I was down to 116 in what used to be a 401k, 53 in cash, for a grand total of $438,000. Compare that to where I was when I retired, what? 14 months before, 15 months? That was not good. That was, dare I say, scary. As I'm sure a lot of you guys were, you know, you're thinking about taking everything to cash, right? I know I was, wasn't close to doing it, but I had some friends who did that. Thank God I didn't do it. That's all I got to say. Because look at that, down 17%, down 22%. And this is only 14, 15 months after I retired. You talk about sequence of returns risk. You know, I read about it before I retired, but I didn't know I was going to go through it because when I retired, things were going well. Two, three months after that, in January, starting January 22, 
Not good at all, guys, not good at all. But that just tells you right there, bite the bullet, hang in there. It will get better. Stick to your plan. It'll get better. All right? So where was I last month? Where was I last month? Are you waiting with bated breath? She's not. She's got her own money, man. All right, so last month, which would have been March, on the 401k, I was there. On the IRA, I was there. On the cash for a grand total of... A -ba 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 boom Look at that. Perfection. Now, should I just, like, take a picture of this whole thing and put it, like, on my channel banner for my retire early on 500k perfection i hit it on the nose so in one 401k 315,000 up from 309 last month 144 on the ira up from 139 last month i took out a thousand dollars for cash and again for those of you who are seeing this for the first time i've been living off of my youtube proceeds and about a thousand bucks in cash every month. I haven't had to take anything out of my retirement savings in all of 2023 and so far in 2024. Because of that, I had originally planned to take Social Security at 62. I'm pushing that back at least a year. So guys, I'm telling you, as I say in almost every video, and you guys are probably going, shut up, man. You've heard that we've heard this so many times. You know why I repeat it? This is why, right here. Part-time income, side hustles, when you are retired on moderate income, can make a big difference. 2023, so far 2024, I haven't had to take out anything from my retirement accounts because of part-time income from YouTube. Think about it, guys. Think about it. It'll make a big difference. So percentages. Now, I'm down 2% from when I retired in that 401k. Pretty dexterous here, huh? Looking, talking, writing. This one, I'm down 4% from when I retired. Guys, look at that compared to January of 2023. Look at the difference. And you know what that was from? That was from staying put. That was from not doing anything crazy. That was from not taking all your proceeds in your retirement account and doing something crazy, like taking it all to cash, you know? It's one of the worst things you can ever try and do is time the market. You might get it right once. It might work once. But what happens is people get overconfident in that. It's like, oh, I got it right this time. And they try and do it again. And you know what happens? It never works. They miss out. If they take it all to cash in a down market, they miss out on all those gains coming back when the market turns good. So just keep your money where it's at. Take a deep breath. Ride it out. So YouTube income. YouTube income. I can't even talk this morning, man. Retirement vodka time. Ah, nothing like vodka in the morning. Honey, no. She quit drinking because she had a little bit of a problem with it. So YouTube income. Okay, that's where I was in YouTube. In January, YouTube paid me 1800 bucks. This is after their cut, and this is pre-tax, my taxes. February, they paid me $2,100. So for March, what do you think? Higher, lower? Don't care? She cares, believe me, she cares. So for March, YouTube paid me a grand total of a bop, 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 boom, $2,000. It's been pretty consistent, pretty consistent, guys. And from when I started my YouTube monetization journey back in January of 2023, which actually... You talk about good timing coincides with my worst month ever on my retirement savings. And that's when I started making money in YouTube. I didn't even realize that till right now. 
So January 2023 is when I started making money on YouTube. Since then, I've averaged right around $2,000 a month. Really goes up and down, up and down, depending on, you know, the types of ads that are running on my videos, the time of year, because ad, ad rates totally vary over the year, depending on the month. So averaging about $2,000 a month, I'll take it. And again, this is after YouTube takes their 45% cut. That is what's left for me, $2,000, my 55% cut. But this is pre-tax. So there you go, guys. That's how I did in March. Hey, I'm looking up. I'm looking up, up, up. I hope you guys are as well. And just remember, as always, we got this.